In this video, we're going to edit an existing annotation family to add another parameter, which will include the floor finish for this room tag. As you can see, there's already room name, room number, volume, and area shown. We're going to add one more parameter at the bottom here that's also going to document the floor finish. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the existing label here for volume and I'm just going to copy it to be below it. The reason I'm doing that is I just don't want to have three things on top of each other right now. And it just makes it a lot easier for us to work. You can see that the volume parameter is already set to be associated with a visibility parameter, which in this case is to show volume. What I want to do is I want to associate it with a new parameter. So I'll click new parameter. And this one, I'm going to call floor finish. And we want to group this under materials and finishes. Now this label is not correct. Right now it's going to show the volume. I want to change that so that it'll actually show the floor finish. With it selected, I can pick Edit Label, and I have a number of parameters that I could choose. But in this case, I want to remove volume. So I'll select volume from the label parameters, remove it by selecting the red arrow, and then I'm going to look for floor finish, pick on the green arrow to add it to the label parameters, and hit OK. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move it back so that it's lined up with the other ones. And this would give me the option to have a room tag that says room name, room number, and floor finish. Now, if I wanted to show room name, room number, area, and floor finish, then I would want to move this down to sit below, which is what we're going to do in this case. Now I need to check my family types to make sure that I have the correct checkboxes checked and a specific type for room floor finish. So I'll click on the family types. And you can see here, by default, we have room tag, which is going to show the room name and the room number based on these checkboxes here. If I were to go to room tag with area, you can see that room number and area are showing. For the new type that we're going to create, I want to I want to show room number, area, and floor finish. So I'll create a new type, and I will call this one room tag with area and floor finish. To make sure floor finish shows, I'm going to check the box and hit OK. Now we can load this into our project. And when I place a room, I could have it say room tag with area and floor finish. It's got the room name, the room number, and then it gives me the option to type in a floor finish.